I think I cut him off. Hello everybody, welcome. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was looking for my cut-off wire. It fell into the... <sighs> I'm just here on the wheel, I'm making some small 14 ounce pitchers. And... Um, yeah. So there it is, it's a small pitcher. I put the... I do the pouring lip in a minute. I've got a gauge set here. Yeah, these are 14 ounces and they're about five, just a little over five and a half inches high. So I'm lifting up to the gauge, you see. That's my goal, that's my, that's where I'm aiming. You need to have somewhere to aim at, you see, when you're throwing. Otherwise you just, you're going all over the place. With no, no fixed address, you know, no, <laughs> no destination, <laughs> no destination in mind. We just get on the bus and we just go wherever we, wherever we end up and then let's bring the uh, camera in a bit here. Oh, maybe I'm getting my head in the way as well. Let me just try and move that around a bit there. Get that angle. Let's see now. This camera's got a bit of a wide angle, so oh, it can do. Yeah. How's that? Is that alright? Yeah. Okay. So, first thing, of course, center the clay. That's basic, isn't it? Got to get that clay on center. And, um, and then we need to cone it and then lift it up. So... And I'm, I'm bellying it now a little bit as I go, you see. My head is not in the way, my big head. And I get the clay up from the bottom. Pull it up, looking for the gauge. Okay, now you don't want to, you don't want to hit the gauge. So, be mindful of that, respect the gauge,
So, using my throwing stick here to just clean away the clay at the base there. So sort of looking for the, the shape of the pot, you see, using the side of the throwing stick to to give it shape, give it the shape that I want. So I've got a I've got a comb here that I I broke off just what I need on the end. Because what I'm trying to do is just put a little detail up here, you see, using this comb, which I'm going to just hold against the, uh, the outside here, like this. You see? Just to give, it's just to give an effect, you know. A little decorative feature. Good. Alright, how's that looking? I hope my head wasn't in the way too much. Okay, so it's a sort of it's a slenderish jug with a a little bit of a little bit of belly here. Um, it's like this one here, it's a similar similar to this. You can see it's a little bigger than this one but then it needs to be thrown a little bigger because it'll shrink you see. So let's cut this guy off. Just have the wheel moving a little bit as you cut off okay and then thumbs down and cut through like that. Okay, right, let's take him, stop the wheel, lift him, and put him over there, like that. Now I've got three to do over there, but I've got to put uh, a little pouring lips on, so let's, let's just pull back a bit there, see if I can show you how to do this. Well, you know how to do it, don't you? Don't need me to show you. Well, maybe you do. Anyway, you just move that one a touch. So you can you can make you know several jug pictures like this, put them on the board, and then come to them when they've just you don't want to let them get stiff, of course, but just they just stiffen off a very small amount. All right, so I'm, I'm wetting my my finger here, you put two fingers, a thumb and first finger like that, and then you want to just pull this lip out, you see, like this. See that? You want to make it look kind of... Let's move this camera a little bit over here. All right, let's do another one. Ooh, <laughs> that's not going to work, is it? I'm going to, I'm going to block you. Hang on a minute. Be patient, folks. Okay, I'm over on the other side. Now. Oops. Right. We'll try that again. So. You take two fingers like this, and then you want to just... It's important to have these fingers, okay, here on either side, when you do this, because what you want to do, you don't want to, to deform the top of the picture. 
So to stop yourself deforming the top of the pitcher, because that's what you would do if you only pulled here and you didn't hold the clay back like this, you see that keeps it keeps the rest of the the form round and you're only pulling out the pouring lip out of that little bit there. So finger, finger and thumb on either side like that and then the, this, this finger pulling, wet it you see, wet that finger and then All right, here let's whip the camera off the tripod and then you can have a closer look. I'm sorry about that, it probably wasn't very clear for you. But, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, you want to get this here so that it's... Now, whenever you, if you throw clay on a wheel, you throw something round and then you deform it, which is what we're doing here, isn't it? This is deforming the lip. The clay has a kind of memory and it wants to uh, try to return, try to go back to how it was before. So what then happens is that the, the shape here that we've got, you lose a little bit of the definition. So the secret is uh, do, your, do your pouring lip a little bit after you've thrown it, not immediately. I don't recommend doing it actually on the wheel. Actually, you should do your pouring lip with the pot. You want to lift the pot and keep the the. Um, let's pull back the camera. Keep the the lip of the pot, the integrity of the lip. Keep it round. You see, while it's on the wheel here, you cut it off. Don't, don't try and do this on the wheel and then lift it, okay? Because the, the strength of the pot, there's a lot of strength in the top of the pot, you see. The top of the pot holds the rest of the pot together. By doing what we're doing here, you're violating the top of the pot. And if you violate the top of the pot, you introduce weakness into the top of the pot. So that when you lift the pot, it can go out of shape more easily. So the top of the pot holds the rest of the pot, you see. How about that for rocket science? <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> I made it up, but I think it's true. <laughs> Says he. So you put, and then you see, you, you do, leave it just uh, maybe 10 minutes or so, and then pull your lips, do your pouring lips. But that's not the end of the story. You want to come back to your pouring lips, probably, maybe, depending on the drying conditions, but you might want to come back a couple of hours later and just go over them one more time because that nice, clearly defined lip will have tried to go back to being round again. So you, that's when you come back again. Well, it's still soft, but it's a little harder. And you just re-emphasize the form of these pouring lips. And after that, they'll stay. Okay, folks, well, that's it. Um, just making these little, some little pitchers, or jugs as we call them in England. And these will have a little handles put on them. Thanks for joining us. And um, please visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. We do have website uh, dates up there, workshop dates. That's workshops that I'm running from here in this studio over the next six months, till November, through until November. So go there, have a look uh, if there's something that appeals to you. We've got pottery tools there. I've got leech treadle wheels. If you want a leech treadle wheel, I've got two sitting here doing nothing. They need a home. <laughs> See them? One, two. Those guys need a home. They're under plastic at the minute to keep them half clean. Anyway, okay.
Um, if you're a regular on my YouTube channel and you've been watching me for goodness knows how long and you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, can I ask you a favour? Can you go there and subscribe? I would appreciate that. Also, you can find us on Facebook under my name. And there's also another Facebook page which is called Simon Leach's Pottery Handbook Facebook page. Uh, they're pretty similar actually. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so subscribe, like, thumbs up. <laughs> And Facebook, if that's if you're seen, then go there, check me out. Okay, folks, hey, keep practicing above all, and you'll get there. That's what it's all about. Practice, practice, practice. Hey, you know what? I was, uh, I'll finish on this one. I was been playing the guitar, you see, been learning to play the guitar, and then I had a sort of like about five, six months where I was playing it like every day, you know, picking it up. Put the kettle on, make a cup of coffee. While I'm waiting for the kettle, I'll pick up the guitar, you see. And um, so, um, and, then I, and then I, for some reason, I got busy doing something else and my interest got diverted elsewhere. And then I thought, I just, just oh, I know, the, the guitar, which was always in a set place, got moved somewhere else. So I never saw, I never saw it, you see, it never caught my eye. So then I... I, uh, I didn't pick it up, you see, for, I haven't picked it up now for like three months. Just com nothing, absolutely nothing. So, uh, I, I uh, just recently I picked it up again and I saw it there and I thought, yeah, I wonder if I can still play this thing, you know? <laughs> it's been three months and I haven't played it. I wonder if I can still play it. Well, so I picked it up and I tuned it. And I started playing it, and I was absolutely amazed that I not only could I play it, I could play it better. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this, but what I'm saying is that when you practice, even if you give it a break for a little while, and then you come back to it, something happens in the brain here, and in the fingers here, where... When you, you see what happens when you practice, it's like nerves make grow and they make, they make connections, you see, they make connections. This is my theory, they make connections. And as you practice, they grow, you see, they grow, they grow, they grow. And then a period of rest is good away from it. And then you come back fresh, you try it again, and some, something has happened. Those connections, those nerves, those brain cells or whatever it is have have continued to grow but they've made their connections, they've made their connections and then when you when I picked up the guitar and I started strumming it and I start, and you know my fingers were like going crazy it was like anyway maybe something like that <laughs> maybe something like that works with pottery too I don't know but anyway I'll leave it with you hey folks thanks a lot and um, th thanks for joining us and see you soon in the next clip. Bye-bye.